Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is episode 85. Uh, today's episode is a continuation of my SCCM 2007 series, and today is part 9. So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to create a program for the package. The last episode that I showed you guys um, was I showed you how to create a package, and today is how to create a program for the package. So. On the last episode, I'll show you guys how to create the package for Notepad++ 6.1.6. So we're going to expand this. And what we want to do is we want to go to the program section, right click, go to new, and program. Simple as that. Now, from here, you got to fill out some information. So real basic, you want to fill out the information like the name of the product. So we're going to do Notepad++. Uh, 6.16 there you go we want to enter a comment uh, this is up to you but I'm just gonna enter the comment just for the hell of it uh, six six one six deployment in SCCM 2007 for BJ Tech News now command line now this is the installation file okay so I'm gonna actually put this stuff in quotations with a dot exe and it's gonna be forward slash I think it's a forward slash s for silent now how did I get the forward slash I think it's the forward slash so let me let me look it up right now for you guys I think the site is app deploy which was converted into IT ninja uh, this site is pretty cool. It allows you to um, other people created batches, and, and and it helps you out in finding out um, the commands, the switches that you need to install stuff silently and behind the scenes. So okay, okay, uh, yep, okay, cool. So you call the installation file. Most likely, if it's exe file, an MSI file, most likely has a parameter that you need to attach it to to either install it silently or you don't want the dialog box to pop up on the, on the user side okay so the next thing you want to do it's normal okay uh, no action required calories I'm not gonna deal with the calories leave that as blank hit next now if you have run notepad++ plus plus in the past and you know the estimate disk space that it will need hey go for it I think if you actually go to the vendor side of the program they tell you how much space you need you enter it there I'm not gonna do with that I'm gonna leave 120 minutes by default uh, this program can run on any platform again if the program can only be run on a 64 bit hey make sure that you pick it down here but I'm gonna leave it as this program can run on any platform hit next now the next option that you guys wanna do is uh, program can run when blah now if you hit the drop down menu you got program can run only when a user is logged on whether or not a user is logged on only when the user is logged on me my best practice I like to do whether or not a user is logged on so if the user is not logged on I still want this application to be pushed out and advertised okay and as well as if they are logged on it would be pushed so it's a win-win situation uh, run mode you do want to run it with administrative rights don't want to allow the user to have any interactions with the program so you leave that drive mode it doesn't really need a drive but again if you're doing a UMC name uh, if you're doing a UMC most likely you want to uh, uh, mount the drive and then install it that way uh, we're gonna hit next don't really need to do this at all most likely if you have if for, for example if you have like Adobe being pushed out and Adobe uh, needs like a plugin to be installed first before installing the actual flash this is where you do it but other than that I don't need to do it for no notepad plus plus hit next uh, right here this is only for Windows installers and when I mean Windows installers I mean MSI's MSI's files automatically uh, return to the package files on available distribution to reinstall and repair uh, most likely MSI files have product codes and files I'm not dealing with this right now. I'm doing a plain Jane EXE. Uh, if you guys do want to learn how to do
do the MSI stuff on this section, hey, shoot me an email or shoot me a comment below and I, I do a video just for you guys. Uh, I'm going to leave this as is. Hit next. Uh, from the mom, I do want to generate an operation manager alert if the program fails. Always keep track of that stuff. Hit next. A summary of everything. Hit next. And that's it. Green check marks all the way. Okay. And we're going to close it. Uh, that's about it, guys. I think on the next episode, uh, I think the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is advertising the package. So basically, we went over how to create the program for the package. Uh, got two more videos coming up for you guys. Advertise the package and then create the update and distribution point. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments below the video, right below the video, as well as at the very top, there's a subscribe button. Please uh, subscribe to my channel to get the latest and greatest reviews and tips on software and hardware. As well, if you enjoy the video, just give me a thumbs up. Catch you guys later. Thank you. Subscribe. Thank you.